Hi, my name is Chris Draper and I'm a Physics 1 student in Professor Junker's M3 section. I attended the public lecture titled Pearls of Wisdom, The Geometry and Topology of Weavables, Wearables, and Wallpaper on November 28th. This was, one, this was the last public lecture that we were allowed to attend for extra credit. Uh, the public lecture was given by Professor Matsumoto and, discuss, and discussed the geometry and topology of wearables, wallpapers, and just other patterns in general. So the lecture started by examining the different types of symmetries that can be found in everyday designs, like the flags of different countries. Uh, some of the basic symmetries that were discussed were reflection, translation, and rotation. I have a couple examples of those here. Uh, this is an example of reflectional symmetry. This is an example of rotational symmetry. The T is just rotated 90 degrees. And then this is an example of translational symmetry, where the T is physically just moved around in space. So uh, after reviewing the basic types of symmetry, Professor Matsumoto talked about how you can take a flat piece of paper and then make 3D shapes out of it. So if you have a flat piece of paper and you cut a triangular portion out of it and then push the paper together like so, you end up creating a 3D cone, which is really, really cool because that means that you can create a 3D object out of a flat object. And likewise, if you have a circle and you add in excuse me, you add in a section of paper. This is the little section of paper that I added in here, the one that's highlighted. Uh, you can create a saddle object, which is really interesting. And so you can begin taking like saddle, like saddle anti-cones and cones and putting them around a human body to create clothing, which is really, really interesting. I thought that was so cool. So um, after discussing cones and anti-cones, Professor Matsumoto began talking about uh, how there are uh, different formulas. She talked specifically about Euler's formula that you can use to calculate um, the different things in clothing, like the number of holes or the number of vectors, which is really interesting because that means that you can figure out what your article of clothing is going to look like before you even begin creating it. So uh, the reason that I chose to attend this lecture is because I'm a computer science major and wearable technology has become the next big technology uh, that everyone is talking about that everyone in the field of computer science is really interested in looking into. So um, Professor Matsumoto entered a big kind of question of wearable technology, which is how do you physically, mathematically create curves that fit the human body? So I took it a step further and began looking at some of the other issues or things to consider when making wearable technology. One of those is how heat is dispersed throughout wearable technology. So Professor Matsumoto talked a lot about like the surface area, of the different objects that she's creating. Well, that's a, there's like the surface area of clothing is a really big issue when you're talking about the heat transfer of clothing. So um, the International Electrotechnical -techn Commission requires that all wearable technology doesn't heat up past 43 degrees Celsius because if it does heat up past 43 degrees Celsius, it can burn consumers and cause damage to their skin. So there's actually a lot of research going into creating heat graphs that show the way that heat moves throughout clothing if you have an electronic device that's like right on your skin. And so I thought this was really cool just because of the relationship between all the different calculations and the mathematics that go into designing different types of clothes. Overall, I really enjoyed listening to the lecture and learning about the geometry and topology of weavables, wearables, and wallpaper. Thanks.